In this mini-series, we're going to introduce you to all 30 athletes competing at this year's World's Strongest Man. We're going to be looking at their story so far, how we think they'll do in the events, and how we rate their overall chances. And we're going to kick this series off with none other than the Dragon, the 2019 World's Strongest Man, Martins Lissis. To Martin's first burst onto the international strongman scene back in 2015 when he competed at the Giants Live Viking Challenge in Iceland. He first appeared at World's Strongest Man in 2016 when he qualified out of his group and placed sixth overall. And since that first appearance, his performance has only really improved with him placing fourth in both 2017 and 2018 before obviously winning the title in 2019, beating the favourite that year, Hathor Bjornsson. Martins took a year and a half break from Strongman after the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic to recover from some injuries. Quite a few fans wrote him off in that time, but they were very quickly eating their words when he came back with probably the greatest comeback in Strongman history, winning both the 2021 Rogue Invitational, followed by the 2022 Arnold Strongman Classic. Martins has a really popular YouTube channel, and he's been a fan favourite from the beginning thanks to his slightly odd sense of humour for a strong man, and of course his incredible competition results. He owns wreck -It Gym and the wreck -It Power Training app, and he returns to the world's strongest man for the first time since his win in 2019. In his time competing, Martins has won eight international competitions and he's been on the podium for 17 of them. He's made the final every time he's competed at World's Strongest Man and he's won three Strongman majors, the Rogue Invitational, World's Strongest Man and now also the Arnold Strongman Classic. So like you say, Martins has had an incredible career so far. Mm. 21 international shows, eight wins and 17 podiums. He is one of the most consistently high performing athletes there is on the circuit. So let's jump straight into the events then. First off, the qualifying rounds. Every group is doing the same events this year, which is really exciting because it makes it very easy for us to compare performances across the board. And the first event in the groups is the loading race. Yeah, absolutely. So every group doing the same event this year. It's going to be interesting when we actually find out the groups. Mm. But one thing you know with Martins, there is no weakness. So for me, he is, barring injury, a guaranteed finalist you know you just can't see yeah. him not making the final and as we say he's very consistent across the board so the loading event i expect a big performance from him he's fast he's athletic he prepares well the loading event he's going to score big points next in the groups is the deadlift ladder a deadlift ladder deadlift in general for martin's a very solid event particularly when it comes for reps yeah. and i think watching some of his recent training video i saw him doing 800 pounds as if it was a, a deadlift ladder. So he's stepping back, picking up the bar again, he was mm. doing it hook grip without even using straps. A lot of the guys will be using straps. If he can go through this with a hook grip, his time is gonna be extremely quick because he's gonna save seconds not having to strap himself up. He's got the power, he's fast, he's preparing well. Again, I expect big points for him on the deadlift. Next would be the car walk. And the car walk, if you look at all the events in the heat, is potentially his worst. Yeah. And when we say worst with Martins, we're talking still absolute world class. Maybe third place. So, <laughs> and that'll be a bad performance mm. for him. I still expect top two on this type of event, you know, the groups, they separate the best athletes from yeah. being in with each other. You may find you get an exceptional athlete that's really quick on these type of events. But again, he's going to perform well. He's going to be prepared. He just doesn't drop points. And that's mm. what makes him such a great all-round athlete. So next is the wrecking ball hold. Do you think maybe the hook grip on the deadlift will affect him on this? Not at all. Martins has one of the best grips in Strongman. If we go back to 2019 when he won in the final, he was the winner of the deadlift hold. He's renowned 
shoulders having a strong grip. He's broken many records when it comes to grip strength. Martins is a solid performer on grip. And again, you know, there's athletes that could potentially beat him. A Mark Felix, for instance. Yeah. You know, Mark is unbelievable. But how many Mark Felixes are you going to have in your group? He is there, up there with the absolute best. Could well be an event win for him. Next will be log lift for reps, around 150 kilos. And again, he's a solid performer here. You know, he's not seen as maybe one of the monster log pressers. He's not maybe like a Luke Stoltman who, you know, is chasing world records. But he's well over 200. He's very fit. He's conditioned. He'll get the reps in. He'll know what he needs to do by this point as yeah. well. He may be in a position where he can back off a little bit mm. and doesn't need to expend as much energy. But if he does, you know he's ready for it. Now, like you, I don't imagine Martins finding himself in this situation, but if he has to do the stone off... Well, he's lucky that stones are his absolute favourite yeah. event. So, <laughs> you know, if he is in this situation where he's in the stone off, again... Who beats him? Yeah, you know, there's, there's scenarios where, mm. okay, a Tom Stoltman might be able to beat him, but you're not going to have last year's winner and Martins, who's just won two of the biggest shows in the same group. You would hope not. Otherwise... <laughs> You know, otherwise we riot. I'm calling the manager. <laughs> so I, I think it would be very, very difficult to see a situation where Martins doesn't get through to the final. Yeah. He's just got that ability to perform on every single event. And worst case scenario, he's in the stone off. That's a man that's very determined. Yeah. You know, despite his laid back nature and his jokes and stuff like that, when it comes to competition, he is fierce. He's a dragon and he's going to breathe fire. And I wouldn't want to be the other end of him when it comes to a stone off for reps. So we're confident Martins is making it through to the final. And the first event there is the Kanak Medley, which is a box carry into a yoke run. So again, this is an event I've seen him training. And like I said, with Martins, he prepares really well. And for me, in the final, if there's one event, and I won't call it a weakness, no, but maybe some guys could beat him on, yeah, or, or like a, a number of guys, this may potentially be it. So, if Martins comes out of the the the, the first the loading event, let's call it, and he's top three, my god, he's going to be hard to yeah. beat. If he wins it, it's almost <laughs> game over. Like. You know, it's, it's never game over that early. No, but yeah, but... he he's. <laughs> He's someone, he's like a, a Terminator that just keeps yeah. kind of coming. You know, the last few big shows he won, he wasn't rushing out of the blocks into the lead, but he was consistent. He was like a, mm. a nightmare behind the lead. <laughs> yeah. Just coming and coming and coming. And right at the end on the stones, he would take it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I keep saying this, but the, the big word with Martins is consistency. Mm. He doesn't underperform. He might not win a single event, but he's going to be top three, top four on almost everything. And that's why he's won so many titles and been on so many podiums. Mm. I mean, if there's one guy you want to put money on, it's Martins. You it's know he's going to turn up. The safest shape. bet, yeah. Absolutely. After that, then, they're going to be deadlifting again, but this time for reps. Deadlifting for reps. And when you look at Martins' history, he performs well on deadlift for reps. Countless competitions where he scored big, big points. There are athletes that could potentially beat him, mm. but again, he's going to get top three, top four at worst. I don't see, you know, some of the biggest deadlifters, unfortunately, missing this year. Yeah. JF Caron, obviously, terrible injury at the Arnolds. He's not going to be there to take mm. him, you know. A couple of other big deadlifters aren't there. Yeah. People that we talk about for the Deadlift World Championships not necessarily going yeah. to be in the final, perhaps. I think Martin's deadlift is going to score him big points. Next is one that we're all looking forward to seeing, the Flintstone lift, which can be behind the neck or in front of them. The Flintstone lift is one, yeah, it's going to be a really exciting event. And an event, I think, again, that will suit someone like Martins. He's explosive, he's got great flexibility. Mm. That's very important when it comes to behind the neck pressing. Um, a lot of the, the stiffer, bigger athletes will struggle to get the bar in a perfect position. They might yeah. be a bit high up on their neck. Martins is someone that really focuses on that mobility, keeping himself athletic. And it's a movement he's trained many times. He hasn't just suddenly done it for this. Yeah. It's a movement I've seen him doing years ago. So I think he can score big, big points. Last time we saw the Flintstone lift, 210 kilos won. I'm expecting to see more than that this year. And he's one of the athletes I think that can go above that. I also think the big advantage for Martins is I think an event like this suits him more than some of the big log lifters. Whereas if it was a log, he might drop a few points. Yeah. I think on this event, he'll actually score more. Agreed. So. Really good event for Martins. Next is the bus pull. 
Boss pull, vehicle pull, always a staple of World's Strongest Man. And this is one where maybe some guys could take him, you know? I think someone like a Brian Shaw, Tom Stoltman, they'll be heavier favourites for this type of event. He's not the absolute biggest athlete. Not that that's always a big factor. We've seen Kiliuszkowski do unbelievable performances, Marius yeah. Pujanowski in the past. And I think Martins will be preparing well on it. Yeah. It's an event he has dropped points on in the past, though, and this is somewhere the other athletes contending for the title will be looking to take some points against mm. him. The next one is another returning event after a couple of years off the Power Stairs. Power Stairs. It's, yeah, it was a staple for a little yeah. while in Strongman when Marius Pujanowski was dominating Strongman. We saw it in many, many competitions, and he was unbelievable. Yeah. Although we haven't seen it in too many comps, I have looked into the archives, and Martins is very good. Of course he is. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? He's very good at power stairs, yeah, strong back, good engine on him, powerful yeah. and explosive. Yeah, he's built well for this type of event, and I think it will take a big performance to beat him. You know, there's, again, guys that maybe can get ahead of him, mm. but I don't see many. He's going to score big points, and you're getting to the business end of the competition here, he'll be fired up. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at some of the results, and he's beaten Brian Shaw on power stairs, and you'd say Brian Shaw is probably built yeah. better for it being so much taller. Tom as well, but I don't think I've ever seen Tom do power stairs. I have stairs. never seen no. Tom do power stairs. We'll get to Tom in a separate day, and I'm sure he'll be good. Mm. But Martins has backed it up. He's done it well in high-level competition against yeah. some of the best. So we know he's capable. And then finally, we've obviously already talked about this being one of his best events, but ending on the Atlas Stones with a little run-in this time. Yeah, they've got a move of the Stones mm. this time. And obviously, we looked at the Rogue Invitational. We looked at the Arnold Classic. It got to the Stones, and he won the competition and won both of those events. Although they weren't Atlas Stones. No. It was... Uh, natural stones at the Rogue Invitational, and it was a stone to shoulder at the Arnolds. He's proven he's exceptionally good yeah. at all types of stones. When he won World's Strongest Man in 2019, he won on the stones. Mm. You know he wants to win the Atlas Stones. There are guys that can push him. Tom Stoltman, Brian Shaw, Maxime, Maxime Trey, they're all great lifters. But this guy proves it time and time again. When it comes to that pressure cooker of winning a big title, he doesn't make mistakes. So how do we rate Martins' overall chances? Now, you know, I'm not a betting person, but if I wanted to make sure my money was safe, Martins, even though he's not the current title holder, I kind of feel bad saying it because Tom is an incredible strong man and on his day, Tom definitely can, especially looking at the events, I think they're actually better suited to Tom, but it seems like Martins has more good days than Tom does. Well, Martins is the most consistent performer that we have at the top level right yeah. now. If you're backing an athlete to go out there and put on a performance, Martins is your man, no matter what the contest. Yeah. But yeah, we have some great competition for him in this show. You know, Brian Shaw has a perfect set of events for him tom stoltman does maxime boudreau was third last year he's hungry and making progress mm. wants to do better the likes of luke stoltman we've got evan singleton we'll talk about all these alexi novikov, alexi novikov. <laughs> you know how can i forget these i can't names? let you move on without saying that. Of, of course but we're going to talk about all those yeah, athletes but right now we're talking about a guy you have to say is probably the world number one in terms of a ranking if, if there was a, there was a ranking you know, system, points ranking yeah. system he consistently performs in every single type of competition he is going to come to world's strongest man aiming to win mm. yes there's guys that can beat him if they bring their a game but he is going to be a threat for me martins on paper is the favorite for world's strongest man does he win that's another question right. entirely, but I cannot see him being outside the top three. No, no. Barring some sort I, of catastrophe. I could, with other athletes, I can see them winning or being outside the top three yeah, if definitely. like things don't go their way. Yeah, same. But for Martins, you just know he's going to perform. And yeah, that's why we've put him out first on this list. He is the 2019 champion, 
not been beaten at World's no. Strongest Man. Obviously, he's not competed there. Wow. But <laughs> he's the linear champion. He's the linear he? champion. <laughs> can he get the title back? Let okay. us know your thoughts, guys. Do you think the Dragon can become the 2022 World's Strongest Man two-time champion? Mm. And we've had a different champion every year since 2017. It was Eddie, then it was Four, then it was Martins, then Alexi, then Tom. Are we going to see, finally, a two-time champion again? Because the last time we saw multi-winners was the Brian and Zadrin Era. Well, I think this is definitely the best chance we've got of seeing a repeat champion this, this year. year with these guys competing. Brian Shaw maybe getting yeah. the fifth. Tom Stoltman coming for the second. Alexei Novikov Ale coming. For Alexei the second. Novikov coming from the second for the second, and Martins as well. If someone can sneak in and take it from those guys, I'll be extremely impressed. Mm. But for me, Martins is the favourite. Will he win World's Strongest Man? We'll find out soon.